Many of us have memories at Globe Life Park and this week we're down to the Rangers final games there before moving across the street to the new indoor stadium. Well, Teresa Woodard is a huge Rangers fan and tonight she reminds us why it's tough for true fans to say goodbye. On the final off day of the season, an observation. It's funny how quiet a place can get when you consider Got it. just how loud it's been. We've seen so much history here. Texas Rangers have their first World Series win in franchise history. 26 opening days. And uh, I'm just proud to be able to display these Ranger boots. On the first one, we saw George W's boots and heard Nolan's big prediction. He's in this ballpark. There's a lot of exciting things that are going to happen. On the last one, we met baby Nolan. His name's Nolan. Rogers and we named him after Nolan Ryan. Ryan, the Hall of Famer, somehow knew we'd see perfection here. Swung on, line to center. Greer is there. He's calling. He's got it. Hello, perfect game. He knew we'd see big catches, big hits. Moreland hits one to right. Three run shot. Three nothing Texas. And maybe bigger pitches. Game over. Feliz slams the door. This one immortalized in bronze in a courtyard never even imagined 25 years ago. The Rangers have played 2,075 regular season games here, 25 in the postseason, six games to go until the house where we've witnessed so much history. The Texas Rangers, our American League champion, becomes baseball history itself in Arlington. I'm Teresa Woodard. Two of baseball's most storied teams will be playing at Globe Life Park this week, and tickets are relatively cheap for these. For the Red Sox, you can get a seat for just six bucks. For the Yankees, tickets are running about $50. Sure, it's up in the nosebleeds, but uh, hey, you make it in.